Okay, welcome to the Cool Vegans Show, episode two. Got some vegan food right here. I'm actually like, I know I'm like on some Nick Avocado type of shit right now, like just eating all this food. But like after this, I think like, cause I thought about it and I'm like, you know, like eating and like talking, it's just kind of like chill and it's like, I'm like comfortable when I'm doing it. And so it's just kind of like, but I don't want to be like overeating and stuff all the time. So like from now on, I think like, I mean, every now and then I might like have something like different, but I think I'm just gonna have like a big bowl of popcorn while I'm like filming this and like just talking and eating because I love popcorn and whatever. Uh, oh, so this place I went to, they really pissed me off. Like they, I, they, I put my order in online and they said it's to come pick it up at between 6.42 and 5.52. I didn't get my food till 7.28. I was so mad. Like, I wanted to, like, be on some Karen type shit and be like, I want my money back, blah, blah, And hopefully, like, they would have just gave me the food for free. But I'm like, this is a black-owned business. They ain't gonna do that shit. Especially, like, I'm black on top of that. Like, they, like when a black person tries to act like a Karen, it doesn't work out in our fucking favor. Like, they would have just told me to get the fuck out or whatever. You know what I mean? They would just be like, okay, well, we're giving you a refund and I won't get no food for free. But they gave me this. They were like, oh, like, um, I called and I asked them, like, what's going on? Like, my order's taking forever. And I mean, I was chill about it. But they were like, oh, well, thank you for your patience. We're going to throw something in there for you. I didn't ask for this. They gave me this. And what else they gave me? And I guess these are some cookies. They gave me that for free, too. So I didn't ask for either of those. What I ordered, I got... Who is calling me? Oh, my aunt is calling me. I'll call her back a little later. Um, I had this from another time. I had ordered from them before. And um, I asked for extra sauce. And I had this from before. This is definitely not worth it. I think this was $17. This is chicken and waffles. Vegan chicken and waffles. Not worth it. Not ordering that again. Unless it's like absolutely delicious. But, I mean, I'm glad that it's not that much because at least I'm going to be able to finish it and I'm not going to be, like, too crazy and full. I'm going to start with this. Um, on episode one of the Cool Vegans podcast, I talked about how I ordered, like, five gourmet cinnamon rolls and then I ordered two of these. And it was just way too much. I think I should be able to finish this. Oh, and by the way, like, for those who don't know, like, if you watched episode one, I did get a lot of food. I did finish all that food. I don't waste food. Like, that's one thing that I, I hate when I see mukbangers. And people that like eat on YouTube or whatever, they get a bunch of food, then they don't like. I just, I'm like, I know you're not gonna finish all that food. You just gonna throw it out. I don't waste food. I ate all that food. It was rough, but I ate all that food. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. My game plan with this is like, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since like I haven't ate since like when did I eat lunch? I forgot. I think I ate lunch like around. Oh, I, I had my class. I got out of my class. At 11.45, I think, something like that. Sometime after afternoon, whatever. It's been hours since I've eaten. Also, a little trick I do so I don't, like, overeat. It's, like, on a regular day, I, like, drink. This is a trick if you're trying to lose weight, too. Or keep the weight off, whatever. Drink, like, a couple um, gulps of water before you eat because then that's going to make you feel full faster. Don't down a whole bunch of water at once and then eat because then you're going to get bloated and you're going to look fucking crazy. But like, just take a couple gulps and then just eat, and then you're gonna like feel full faster. But I didn't, I didn't eat except for like hours. Number one, and then on top of that, I didn't do my little regular like take a couple swigs of water um, before I eat or a couple big gulps. So I'm going to get into this, and then it's like I didn't even have a reason to buy this stuff today. Honestly, I don't know why I bought this. Like, I'm just being wasteful. Like, the thing is with me, like, I'm, like, the type of person that, like, the moment that, like, something inconveniences me in the day, I'm, like, boom, okay, I'm buying some food. Like, you know what I mean? I just kind of use food always, like, as, as an excuse. But, honestly, I should get out that mindset and maybe for m moving forward, instead of, like, because right now I bought, like, I spent, like, um $43 on this. I spent, like, $43 on all of this. And it's like, I could have just, like, honestly, just, like, got something else and, sp and spent that on something else, honestly, instead of um this food. Like, I, like I've i been contemplating on getting, like, a Netflix or, like, a Hulu or something. And, like, I could have, like, got that. I licked these, so that might be gross, but. Hmm. But yeah, oh, 
So this is the vegan chicken and fries. And then this is a lot right here. Like, that's a lot. Um, yeah, two of these is, would definitely be too much. Um, I like to eat the french fries first, but the french fries are underneath. And I'm gonna dip them in here, so. So yeah, I my excuse for, oh my gosh, the fries got cold. I might have to eat the chicken first because there's just other oh, there's fried mushrooms. There's just too much on top. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe I can try and move them all over to this side or something. Yeah, my excuse for getting this is because like my day didn't go as planned. Like, I don't know. I need to get my stuff together, like with school. Like I'm trying to balance like you know, I need to balance fun in school, which school is starting to become fun, mainly because I'm going to school for something I'm interested in. Like today, I was so proud of myself. Like I read so much of this textbook. Like I'm taking this religion class and right now I'm reading a chapter on Judaism. And it's very interesting. And I was reading it and I was having a good time in the library at my school. Hmm. I don't know. And I look forward to it. Like when I'm done filming this little video and um, eating, I'm gonna crack that book back open. I got some more reading to do. Yeah, I got some reading to do in my, um, in my sociology class. I need to like try and eat like with some manners. Yeah, I, I really should have. Like, I'm like sitting here like, ah, like what am I doing? <laughs> like, that's so gross. Mm. Mm. This is not hitting like that because these fries are like cold. Wait, 30 minutes for this. All right, these don't need to be dipped like at all. And I should, I think I'm gonna chill on dipping the fries in because this sauce is cold. It's been sitting in my refrigerator. And some of these fried mushroom, fried chicken, looks a little dry. I think I'll need some extra sauce. So I can set this to the side for right now. Mm. No manners. I'm gonna lay the fork. I'm gonna try and redeem myself and have some type of class. No, I feel like a fork is gonna mess me up. A fork is gonna make me not enjoy this meal that much. Mm. So I'm gonna continue to be trash for the rest of the video. I don't know what I'm doing about that. I'm gonna get some hot sauce for that chicken. I got some maple syrup in my refrigerator. I'm gonna move our stuff to this side. And after I eat one thing at a time um, for my last video, and we get anything with fries, if we get a burger and fries, if you get whatever with fries, eat the fries first, because once fries go cold, they're sober. You know what I mean? You can't really warm them back up, especially if they got sauce in them already. Like, mm -mm. So, I think, yeah, I'm going to be able to finish all this. I don't know. I got a lot of water I got to drink for that. Like, I don't, I don't I'm really healthy. So, it's like, I don't really be getting, like, dehydrated and stuff. But, like, I really, like, in the morning, I don't, I maybe drink, like, a half a cup of water in the morning. And I feel, like, good for the rest of the day. Like, I don't be, like, thirsty or anything like that. Um, But then I get home and I drink a bunch of water. But, like I said, I'm not, I don't even be thirsty. But I'm also about to eat a bunch of food right now. So, you know, trash. Don't be like me. Hmm. Hmm. There was a couple of things I wanted to clarify from my last video. 
but I forgot. Uh, I'm about to, hopefully I remember before this video is over. I thought I was gonna talking about my last video. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Mm. One of the benefits to being vegan, right, is like you really don't have to work out like that. Like, you can like really get muscle and like define yourself, and you know. Like, I don't got to spend hours. Like, I work out every day, but, I like, my workout is quick. I can do my workout in, like, 15 minutes if I rush. Yeah, I can do my workout in, like, 15 minutes if I rush. But, I mean, most days now, since I'm in school, I'm rushing. So, I do my workout in, like, 15 minutes. Um, um, you know, it's a quick workout. I only do calisthenic workouts. I only do, um, I don't lift weights. I don't run anymore. I used to run a lot. I used to, I used to run seven miles every day. Crazy. Um, and I even when I was running seven miles every day, I, I like I like my body a lot more now than I've ever liked my body in my entire life. And it's like you just need to just not eat that much and just eat healthy. Like don't overeat. <laughs> don't overeat. Well, I don't do this all the time. I will. I'm on the right now being in school. Like I feel like I'm not. I'm not a freshman. I'm like I'm on the cusp of being a sophomore and a junior. Like I'm taking four classes right now, and two of those class. If I, I'm two college classes away from being a junior. You know what I mean. So I'm taking four. So it's like I'm in between being a sophomore and a junior. Um, and, but yeah, but it's like I must. I feel like I must have gained a freshman fifteen or something because it's like over the summer I was like just chilling because I worked everything out as to where I didn't need to have a job. I was just getting by my veterans benefits, and so I was just chilling. So I was like in the house and like I was just like eating the same thing every day, like being super healthy. But now being in like I throw like a monkey wrench into the works. Um, being in college, like just be, I'm being in school, you know. Well, college, school, the same thing. Um, like, why am I correcting myself? But I probably got to hurry up and eat all this because that, I want, that chicken and waffles, I don't know if it's going to go bad. But, like, yeah, like, just being at school, like, it's just, like, you know, like I said, whenever the day doesn't go as planned or whatever, like, I don't know. I just be like, just, okay, let me go ahead and eat some, get some food and just eat it. Mm-hmm. This makes up for it. This makes up for it. Actually, and now I gotta figure out like what's what's my consistency gonna be. I feel like I'm gonna just Upload when I feel like it. I don't know. Unless, because I don't ever want to force. Like, like I said, I know when I'm on. Like, just from like my last video, I know when I'm on. I know when I'm off, and I don't ever want to feel like, oh my gosh, I have to turn myself on to film a video because I have, I need to post a video every Thursday or every whatever. So I feel like I'm just gonna upload whenever. Hmm. I guess for right now, because I mean this is cool. I don't have a one. I mean, I don't know. Like YouTube is. I'm telling you, it's harder than it looks. It is harder than it looks. Um, but 
And like, it's crazy. Like, you don't need that many followers. You don't need it. Once you ex get certain experiences on YouTube, like certain things make sense. Like when I'm like sitting back watching like big time influencers, I hate to sound like it, but it's like, like oh my gosh, you don't have 230 subscribers. Like, shut up, you know what the fuck. But it's like, I kind of can, I understand like the, I have a different perspective. Like there's just a mind, like of course, I will have a much different perspective if I had like millions of hundreds of, or hundreds of thousands of subscribers or whatever. But like, I feel like sometimes if there's just certain things that go on, like sometimes I, I think, for instance, I understand now why somebody would just like stop making YouTube videos. Like I understand that. I always thought that like before I posted, start posting YouTube videos, like I was like, if, if you have millions of subscribers, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, why the fuck would you walk away from all that? <clears throat> but it's like sometimes you just like, you know, I, I get it now. Sometimes when you just want, I get it. You know what I mean? Like there's a most of the reasons, but I personally get it. And it's kind of hard to explain. For, like if you're like so just somebody that watches YouTube, does it post, does it, you know, put your stuff out there. It's kind of hard to explain. But like once you put your stuff out there, it doesn't matter if you get two subscribers, you will understand like why the fuck like somebody will walk away from fucking YouTube after having like, you know, millions of subscribers, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, whatever. Mm. Hmm. But um, oh, I want to save the pieces with the most sauce for last. They better not have gave me some free oatmeal raisin vegan cookies. I don't know. I don't. I honestly, I think I dislike oatmeal raisin more than chocolate chip. You know what's good though? Like they haven't have like a hybrid type of cookie that's like oatmeal mixed with chocolate chip. Those are those are good, but. I don't know. I think I, I would prefer chocolate chip because I can just like at least go get that and dip that in some milk to make it better. But like oatmeal raisin, nah. I don't like oatmeal raisin. Mm -hmm. I was hoping that they were going to throw some um, macaroni and cheese up in there. But I got this. I'm from. Oh no, I left some french fries. Ah. Hmm. Oh, this is a good the only thing about this angle is I like to have my head and my hair fully in the frame but but when I sit up straight like my head gets cut off but like if I'm you know I didn't want to have it too far back but I like as long as I kind of like sit and lean forward I guess be a little trash put my elbows on the table 
with side note i i forgot where i learned this at maybe it was like i hate like repeating stuff that i learned from tiktok because that makes me feel like just so like just like uncultured swine but like they said something about something about elbows on the table only were deemed like a rude thing because like back in medieval times like there were there wasn't a lot of space on the table so like you know you know like in medieval times like they had those long rows of seat and everybody had their gauntlets and their plates and whatever like you know what i mean so you didn't have no space like putting your elbows up on the table but it's like i don't know hmm Mm. <laughs> I, I feel like I learned that on social media. Like, where in the school would I learn that at? Honestly, I hate repeating stuff from social media. educational stuff and something that I've been trying to do recently is like I'm trying to like stop like you know I'm studying like ancient civilizations and stuff in school and, um, and it's kind of just like that stuff fascinates me I tell myself you know it's crazy, but I'm glad I didn't do this because I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to go off because I learned my lesson. I changed my well. I was since I've been out the navy. I got out in 2020. I had I think a total of five different like major changes. Uh, uh, some of them are can aren't even technically aren't even majors because I. I wasn't in school, like I wasn't in college. I went to, when I first got out of the Navy, I did HVAC trade school. And then I like that, I left that because I was like, this job is gonna be kind of gross. I'm like, I've seen some HVAC technicians when I worked at this restaurant and like the restaurant I worked at, like the kitchen floor was like disgusting and greasy and these HVAC technicians and then the restaurant had roaches too. And rats, they, I mean, rest, most restaurants have like rats. Um, but the restaurant also had roaches. And like they were just all on that floor, just like working on this refrigerator. And I'm like, and then when I was at HVAC Trace, I'm like, I would have to be all on, all on the floor, like some dirty, greasy ass, like restaurant floor, kitchen floor. And then I'm like, you also have to, have to, have to be like on like, the roof of like buildings when it's like scorching hot outside trying to fix like some little commercial building air conditioner you like i'm not trying to be sweating my ass off like that's a dirty hard hot cold job like no i don't want to do that so i thought about it like i don't want to do this um so i love and then was school for cyber security and i went to a community college and I dropped that because I was like, this is boring. I'm like, I, I'm like, I did not like it. I feel like I could have stuck with cybersecurity if I learned how to be a cybersecurity person on the field. But learning that stuff in the classroom, no, I can't do it. I can't do it like, you know, when I was in the Navy, I learned how to do a lot of administrative, like clerical tasks that's like Navy related to like their systems and stuff like that. And But it's like, if I took that stuff that I learned in the Navy while being hands on and took it and tried to learn it in the classroom, I was like, this is too boring. I can't do this. I can't focus. Like, you know. Mm. Um. Mm. I'm gonna be right back. 
I'm gonna get some hot sauce. I don't know which hot sauce. I'm gonna get all three of my hot sauces. I'm gonna say I got four because I got sriracha on top of that. I'm gonna see which one tastes best with it. And I ain't gotta get a fork and a knife for this. So, to be continued, I left off so trash. <laughs> I have no manners at all. You can take me to your mama's house. I'm gonna act right. I'm not gonna be doing all this at your mama's house. Um. We left off on cybersecurity. Now, I'm going to tell you what I did next after cybersecurity, which was, I think, probably, hands down, one of the wildest things I think I did in my... No, I'm not... It was random. I'll say that much. It was just random. I, was, I think I spoke about it here and there. I had to have, because it was so random, and it was such a big, pivotal moment in my life where, like, I just, like, whatever. I'm hyping it up. I mean, but it is some weird, random shit. I'm going to be right back. Okay. I got some um, maple syrup too for my pancakes. But these are, I got all these like Spanish hot sauces. Cause they got more flavor than, I used to get Louisiana a lot. But then when I was in the Navy, like this girl, like she was like younger than me. She was like maybe 22 or something, I don't know. But then she was like, she was, she was getting Frank's Red Hot. And a lot of black people in the Navy was eating Frank's Red Hot. So I'm just like, why y'all don't mess with Louisiana like that? Like, I was confused. So I started trying to mess with Frank's Red Hot. But I'm like, I don't really mess with this. And then I went back to uh, Louisiana. Louisiana is just very vinegary and salty. These hot sauces, this Valentino, then this one, like, Tapatio, these have, like, flavor. Like, they're not just, like, vinegary and salty and hot. Like, they have flavor. <clears throat> so I get those. I'm gonna try, I guess I'm gonna try this one. No. Try this one first. No. I'm gonna try this one first because these two are the same brand and this one is supposed to be extra hot apparently. But it's like, so I don't wanna like have my mouth like, you know, I don't wanna have the other ones tasting like kind of weak in comparison. So I'm like, oh. I ate the extra hot one first. But yeah, so it's like, but then I'm like, why am I sleep on Valentina hot sauce? I'm like, they got the best hot sauce. These like, this Tapatio, I think I think I like Valentina more, but like, you know, Tapatio got its own little thing, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Valentina Mariscos. That is Spanish for seafood. Speaking of Spanish, I just gave all my Spanish homework. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Let me find out that I mess with Tapatio more. Let me find out. I thought I messed with Valentina more. But yeah, like I got like when I was in the Navy, I saw these black people eating Frank's Red Hot. So I ended up getting Frank's Red Hot. I'm like, I don't like it. Um, top of seal. Once I'm done with y'all, y'all gotta go. Tap the seal where it's at. Well, actually, maybe I should just continue to get all three because, like, maybe it's just, you know, what this tastes good with right now. Mm. Mm. So, you know, I'm getting back to my store. 
Hmm. After cyber security, I went. I wanted to be a farmer. I wanted to be a farmer. I went and I got an internship on this farm. I was living on the farm, working on the farm. It was supposed to be for 10 months. I only lasted for two. And I left that. I was planning on going to school for agriculture. But before I did that, I wanted to get an internship on the farm, see how I like it. And with some hands-on experience, whatever, you know? I left that, I'm like, I wanted to live a peaceful life, and I'm like looking around. Oh wow, it's been 31 minutes, okay. I'm like looking around, I'm like, you know what? I am from Chicago, I don't have no family that own no farm. I'm like, if I get into farming, it would be the opposite. Like getting into farming would actually bring a lot of drama and like a lot of stress to my life because I would have to break into that industry. I would have to buy a whole farm, buy all the equipment, you know, f hire help because you know, I don't got no damn kids. So I can't have little Billy out on the farm, you know, and little Sally out in the stables. Like, come on. It was good to be me on that farm. And some hired help. Um, so I'm like, there's that. And then I was just like, you know what? Now I, I like looked around, like, I was like living with this old, old white couple. And like, you know, they, they like, I kind of had this view of farmers that they were like these like simple, nice, you know, sweet people you know i remember something that's like ingrained in my memory it was like one of the times that i was driving home from the navy like during christmas or whatever i know it wasn't during christmas it was like when i was actually leaving the navy me and my mom was in the car and i forgot why like we need to take a detour for it like maybe we were looking for like a rest stop but like we were just dumb and like because like when you were on like those and like we we're driving from virginia to Illinois, so we were like driving like through, from through states, like so they're like these big highway highways that like are like interstate highways or whatever, and you have to pay to get onto those highways. Number one, and you don't really have to leave because there are like rest stops where you can like park your car, you can sleep if you need to, which I don't do that, but at least not during that trip, because um, it was like it's a twelve hour drive. I just would rather just suck it up and just get it over and do it, but um. You can get gas. There's a restroom. You can buy a little food. Like they got little restaurants and stuff in them. So instead of we were on the interstate, and instead of like I think we had to go, go to a rest stop for something. Maybe one of us had to go to the bathroom, one or both of us, or we had to get something to eat or whatever. We had to go. We had to like go someplace for something. We just couldn't keep driving. And instead of us just driving until we got to a rest stop, we decided to get off the interstate and like look for like something in like the area and we were in pennsylvania and it was just so beautiful and we drove by this farmer and like it was just so it was so scenic it was like i remember it was kind of foggy but it was just so scenic and then like the farmer he saw us and he like waved at us and I'm like, oh my god like who he, you know what i mean like such a it just, i had that like ingrained in my memory like you know what i mean like oh my like these are just, like simple nice people whatever i get to the farm like, you know, fast forward a year or so later. I want to put this in a microwave because, like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Be right back. Uh, can I microwave this? I don't think I can, so I'm going to just go ahead and take it out. I'm going to be safe. Because I want this to be, like, soft. I get to the farm and I see like even like you know what I mean farmers are human that's all I'm gonna say they're human they're not saints they're not like you know 
they're not saints. They're human. They have emotions, just like anybody else. They're not. They don't just like live on the farm like they're living in some fairy tale PG, not even PG rated G movie, where they wake up in the morning smiling and they, you know, run downstairs and they hop in the, their seat and they eat their breakfast. They go, you know, all jolly out to the fields picking fruits and berries and stuff. Like that's not how it is. Like farming. It's stressful, it's hard. So it's like on top of me stressing myself, I was trying to break into the farming industry. It would have been, once I get into the farming industry, it's not like I would have achieved a peaceful lifestyle. I saw what it was with these farmers that were deep into the farming world. Like they were stressed out and they, they were human. Like it's like, I was trying to escape all of that. But I'm like, if anything, being on a farm is even more stressful because like you have to do everything yourself. Like I live in Chicago. Like I literally like the building I live in, I take my garbage, drop it down and shoot. These farmers have to burn their garbage. Like they, there's so much stuff they couldn't do. Like I'm pretty sure they can't be ordering stuff off of Amazon. I don't know. Like it was just so much stuff. Like, like little stuff. Like, you know, it, I don't know. Let me go get my waffle. I did the right thing. This feels like really good. But like, yeah, so I just was like, you know what? And there's a bunch of other little things, but I don't feel like thinking about all of that right now. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not bringing up bad memories or nothing, but like, I'm trying to move on with the story about how I got to where I'm at right now, which why am I even telling the story to begin with? I forgot. Um, but yeah, so then after that, I was like, the internship was 10 months, but only lasted two. Um, and then after that, I went to school for English. Um, and then I left. I dropped that because I realized that I'm more of a writer. I'm not really much of a of a reader. And if I do read, I want to. I would prefer to read like real stuff. Like I don't feel like reading a whole bunch of like boring like writer from like the 17 and 1800s like Emily Dick. Like I don't care. I I don't care to read about her. Like I would much rather read about factual things that happened. Like how I'm, then this is why I ended up going to anthropology, archaeology. Um and yeah. You know what I mean? Even if it's like the stuff I'm reading about is like mythology, at least this mythology is actually stuff that people worshiped and believed in at one point in time. You know what I mean? Yeah, boy. And this is like real maple syrup. <sighs> big back, big back, big back, big back. Mmm. Mmm. Come on. I feel like this waffle not gonna be that good. They it, this waffle better be like kind of sweet or something. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I signed on who told black people that specifically African Americans because I'm not gonna incriminate all black people when I say this. Who told African Americans that chicken and waffles was a good mixture? And who told African Americans that cornbread and collard, and collard greens go together? I had that the other day. Like I made my vegan cornbread and my vegan cornbread tastes like regular cornbread. Like it, it does. Like I don't know what to tell you. Like, uh, I gave some to my mom one time. She thought I used Jiffy. And he was like, did you use Jiffy? I'm like, no. Well, so, okay, I'm done with that. This one square is missing some maple syrup. So I'm gonna pour some in there. Yeah, moving in the future, 
Because y'all not about to see me go on, on Nick Avocado and get fat as fuck and all that stuff. No. In the future, there is this good ass popcorn that's all natural and it is delicious. Um, and they got like this butter flavor. Delicious. All natural. Like it's not even like, and it's vegan too. Delicious. I'm gonna just, I got a big bowl. I already know the bowl I'm gonna use. I'm gonna get that bowl. I'm gonna pour that bag of popcorn in there and I'm just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna eat it and talk. Cause I like eating and talking. Like these little, they're not, I guess they, it's maybe right now. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I think about Nick Avocado, Avocado, and I think about a mukbang. So, like, you know, this is not as much food as Nick Avocado or a lot of these mukbangers. Like, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. But, yeah. In the future, I think when I want to treat myself to something, because instead of getting this food, what I could have did, I could have, like, bought Netflix. There's so much stuff on Netflix that I want to watch. It's crazy. Um, yeah, but going back, like with English, like I'm a writer. I still have a passion for um English, and I want to publish a book before I die. And I actually did start writing a book, but I want to go back and read. It was a whole thing. All right. You know, I pretty much. Like, I remember I love writing. Like, I like I like writing. You know, it's always been my strong suit. All my English teachers usually always love me. The only time um, my English teacher didn't really like like me, or not, I mean, it's like he dislikes me or nothing, but I didn't stand out to him, was when I was majoring in English and I took like a literature class and it was just a bunch of just reading old, boring, old English. I was like, I, you know what I mean? Like I was not contributing to that class that much, but like any other English teacher I've had, any writing class, language arts, English, whatever, those teachers always love me. I just like writing. So, I am going to write a book before I die. And I already started, but like I said, I got to restart because something that, a big thing that helped me back from writing was that I always thought, it, oh my gosh, I'm breathing like a fat ass. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder if y'all can hear it. And now I'm sitting like a fat. <laughs> okay. But the thing to me that fucks me up when I was younger, why I didn't write when I was younger, is that I always got too caught up in like descriptive, like describing like the scenery and stuff like that. But it's like something that I learned. I took a creative writing class. And I'm like, I didn't really want to take that creative writing class, but I was like, it's going to be an easy credit. But I was like, that, that, that creative writing class did actually help me a little bit. And it taught me a couple things. And I. Uh, Speaking of getting taught a couple things, I might tell y'all something about my, no, I'll keep this to myself. I was going to tell you something about something my therapist told me. But um, the creative writing class told me, they, they were like, don't let the, the reader be, a, don't be afraid to make the reader use their imagination. You know, mm. you want to spell everything out for them. You want to describe everything, the floor, the walls, the decorations, what's on the table, what's it like. So, I started writing. But then, I realized I struggle. Mm, I'm fine with journalistic type of writing. But I want to write that creatively, like fiction and stuff like that. And I'm big on like dialogue. Now I don't know. No, I, don't, I like character interactions. Like I find that stuff fascinating. And in my creative writing class, they said you don't really want to have a character by themselves anyway. They were like, you know, always have your character doing something with somebody. Like just having a character sit alone with their thoughts. Well, I'm pretty sure some writers can do that, and I feel like I could do that honestly. But like. I don't know, I want a little action in my story, a little, you know, tension, whatever. I don't want just a character sitting along with his thoughts. 
Mmm. But I'm talking about like, if I have a character and he is with somebody, how am I going to write this dialogue? Because am I going to have it like Pulp Fiction? Because Pulp Fiction, they had some very um, poetic type of dialogue. Like, it was just very like, you know, real life don't sound like that. Or am I going to have like realistic dialogue? And I was aiming for realistic dialogue, but something I realized is that when you're writing a book, maybe some writers can do that. But it's like me, I got too much stuff that I want to do in the story. And I realized that I was getting too caught up on like trying to make the dialogue realistic. Like I was like maybe five pages into my book and I realized like I'm like, they're just like talking. Like, and it's like the conversation isn't really going anywhere. Um, because I was getting too caught up on the little nuances of like what they're saying and everything like that. I was getting too caught up on like the little mannerisms that they would do while they would talk. Like, you know, and honestly, my story has to progress. But I literally wrote myself into a corner because I was like, I can't get out of this. Like, I'm like, I have to write like, you know what I mean? Just for one conversation. I, if I, if you write some genuinely realistic dialogue where you're actually like describing what the characters are doing and like whatever, you might be stuck there sitting there writing like 10 pages like of just for one little interaction, one little like five minute interaction. Like it's crazy. So I want to go back. And I want to, I'm gonna eat these damn cookies. I do wanna drink this though. But I wanna say this for last. But I wanna go back, restart my book. Have the same, there's, there's one thing I plan on changing about what the characters do. It's just the location, I'm gonna change that, that's it. They go someplace, but I'm gonna change to something else. I'm trying to be a little more creative. But I'm gonna be on my Pulp Fiction. I'm about to like how these motherfuckers talk like very poetically. Like it's gonna be very like seductive. Alright, I'm gonna be so poetic. But it's gonna be the same characters, same plot, same story, but it's just not gonna be a realistic dialogue. Oh, okay, these are chocolate chips. I should go get some milk. Oh, hell no, they're so hot, hard. Do y'all hear that? Oh my gosh. What the hell? Now I gotta get some milk. And I gotta, I gotta drink this. I wanna just drink this right now and I wanna cleanse my, I'm, I'm gonna drink this, you know what? Anarchy. Cause this is gonna be so messed up to drink this. This is gonna be so sweet. And then like this, like chocolate chips, bitter as hell. Hopefully, I don't know. This is a blueberry lemonade. Hell no. See, now I see why they gave me all this shit for free. What the hell? This bitter ass fucking lemonade. The one thing y'all can do is put some sugar in this bitch. What should I do with it? Shit, bitter as fuck. Um, what am I about to do right now? Okay, well, you know what? I don't got time. I'm chilling right now. How am I gonna close this out? Like I said, I'm like I said, I'm writing my book. I'm in school. Well, I'm not writing my book right now, but whatever. Side note: There's this book. I don't, I don't know if I remember that. that like this, y'all. People remember because they had a movie, and then they came out with a Netflix series. I don't know if they like making a season two or whatever. I didn't watch it because I want to read the books. Series of unfortunate events. I started reading that book when I was younger. Only there are 13 books in the series. I got worn out at book eight. I was like, I just got to read 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got to read six more books, and I just read seven. 
I was just I just was done. But I was like looking back, I'm always disappointed in myself that I didn't finish that book series. But um, yeah. But so I, I was I was trying to read it, but it's like right now, like I'm in school, like and it's like all to read. Like if I stick around and like read a chapter of that book, I'll, the, the time I spent reading a chapter of that book can be spent. They're like being in college, there is no like. You know what I mean? You can always be working ahead or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like I would much rather just focus on reading, you know, my the books I need for my school than reading, you know, this book. Maybe over the summer? I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Maybe I might just... I maybe I'll... Try, maybe I'll hmm, I don't know. I feel like right now I got a lot of stuff, stuff to do, so I'm definitely not going to read the book today. But it's like... I low key feel like I forgot exactly all all the exact events that happened. So I feel like I need to start over. I started back reading that book, that series. I read book number one. It was it was so horrible to get through that book. And then I started reading book number two. Um, but I haven't read it in like a week. And now I kind of I, I know where I left off at, but I forgot the exact events leading up to that. So that makes me kind of want to like restart the whole series. But like, I don't know, maybe I'm not going to do that because like I'm a grown man now. And it's like, if I feel like, and that's a gargantuan task to read fucking 13 books. Like, so it's like, when am I ever going to have like the time to just read 13 books and like not have any interruptions? So maybe what I might do is I might maybe go back a couple chapters and just reread those chapters leading up to like where I was at so I know exactly what happened. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna at least down this and then I'm gonna eat these off camera. That was bad. This tastes like tea that the the bag broke in, and like we're drinking the leaves or something, and with, and it's with no sugar. They wrong for that. They had me waiting over thirty minutes. They gave me some hard ass cookies and some fucking sour ass fucking lemonade. Okay, um, they know they're wrong. They 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 know they're wrong for that. Um. Yeah, so this this has been the cool vegan show episode two. Um, like I said, uh, all right, <laughs> I'm out.